Well, it looks like the, uh, the sun is out, the weather is playing ball. So we're going to leave the estate and head to the beach and show you around our T6 California Ocean. Jeeves, pack up the van. That'll be me then. show you the top dub. This is where the electrical hookup plugs in and it has a little catch to unclip it and then that's the fresh water tank not to be confused with the diesel tank expensive mistake I can imagine but um, I believe it's a 30 litre fresh water tank I think I can't remember if it's 30 or 45 litre but and then same again for the wastewater tank and um, yeah, you can empty empty them using the valves on the inside if need be. So we empty them every time we come back from a trip to keep it fresh. We only ever um, use that water for cooking. So we, we boil it. Um, we never drink fresh from it. We have bottles of water for that. We have a cupboard in the back here. We store uh, things from the shower. In fact, I can show you underneath this shelf here. It just lifts out. We have a little uh, shower attachment. And what that does is we take that out that plugs into here and that just feeds off the fresh water supply great for cleaning Bentley and then underneath here you can see this is actually the water tank uh, but then if you unscrew the water tank the lid it's like got an indentation which fits the gas bottle in you can see that in there so we, we have two gas bottles on board, one plugged in and one as a spare, and we just swap and change just when, when required. We also have the all-important toilet on board, just a porta potty that seems to fit perfectly. It's like it was made especially for it. You've got lights in the back here, which put these lights up on the top. If you see them, on, off, on, off, on, off. Anyway, um, they also dim, which is quite nice. We, we, we tend to dim them right down at night time. So when we're up at the top, there's still a little bit of lighting so that um, we can see Bentley if needed. One of my favorite things about the California is if I unzip this, I've got two covers in here. One is uh, the windscreen cover and the other one is the Cali topper, which you'll have seen in other videos, which is an extra cover that goes over the roof, just keeps that bit warmer in, um, in winter. It also gives a bit more privacy. If you take one of those out, see we have a couple of camping chairs how good is that something that we were a bit concerned about with getting the california is the big drop for bentley um, i don't want to ruin his joints so i decided i was going to build a, a dog ramp or at least modify a dog ramp so this is the existing dog ramp you can see here i didn't make that bit i'm not that good but um, so it's just a telescopic dog, dog ramp that I bought um, online. But I then built a bracket that sort of fits in here. You can see that, that holds it in place. So it means that all I have to do is pull that out. And it's so much easier for Bentley getting in and out. You're going to show us, Bentley. You're going to show us how it's done. Come on, Bentley. Come on, up here. <laughs> well, that's not really the way. Come on, down here. There we go. Oh, we go. Good boy, who's clever? Who's clever? You're gonna come back down it. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that but works. Nissan stole that idea from us. <laughs> yeah. This forms part of the bed. Uh, the seat collapses, and I'll I'll show you how that works for the lower bed. So you come around this way. If I move these cushions out of the way, try and get past all the vegetation. So they go down, that goes out of the way. And that's all the way down like that. So you just move these bits of carpet out of the way. We 
rarely use this bed because, as you, as you can see, the dog is quite big, so he gets the luxurious uh, bottom area through the through night time. You just slide the bed forward. There's a little catch in here. Find it. Again, pull that. Down it goes. And we have a mattress topper. Uh, the seat belts move out of the way. We have a mattress topper. But as you can see, Bentley is lovely and big. Where's Bentley? Come and find him. Where is he? What do you think of this? Go and see him. Go on. <laughs> He's not sure. Not sure. Right, I'm going to just talk you through the inside of the van um, whilst Bentley's in here as well because it gives you an idea of how much space there actually is in here when you've got even just four people sat around. So there's, there's a lot of space in here. So you've got the two seats here, then we've turned around the chairs at the front so that you've got plenty of room. So we've got the kitchen area here, which I'll show you. You've got your sink, running water, and then two hobs. And these are really quite good size, actually. I've always found that when we've put pans on there, they're actually, you can put two big pans together, which is pretty convenient. You've got a kitchen. And you've got a fridge here as well. And that goes really cold, actually. Um, we've actually frozen stuff in there before. Not that I would recommend it, but it does go very cold. Sean's got a couple of stickers on here. He's hoping to fill it. So if you've got a sticker that you want to send us, please feel free. So I'll give you an idea of the table as well. It's just a little clip that comes out. We often use this when we're cooking and Bentley will come and sit next to me here. So the legs are pulled out. There you go. So you've still got loads of space. And I think one thing about um, some motorhomes is you find that you're really close to other people and your sort of knees are clattering together. This is great because you, you just don't have that. You've got so much leg room. We've actually got another table as well. There's a secret table. If Sean comes in here, we'll leave Bentley outside, bless his little heart. So if you can see here, there is actually another table and it's just a case of it pops out when you pull this lever like that. And then that just lifts out and you've got a table for outside as well. This storage space, storage is really important, especially in such a small van, but actually there's tons of storage space. So in here, you'll be able to see, we've got a couple of boxes just from Ikea that fit in really nicely and it makes it easy just to pull them out and then you can see we've got the kettle there. And um, we actually keep all our cutlery in here when we're traveling and you'll have seen us review this at another time but this is a great bit of kit but when we're stopped you can put all the cutlery in here and it's actually soft clothes a really posh kitchen I'll shut that one you can see the other side again loads of space it's not very tidy at the moment but we do generally tidy it up quite well before we go away but yeah two shelves, absolutely tons of space. Behind me, you can see I've done a little DIY dog guard, but I actually, it's just a Velcro thing. So I'll show you. There's another huge cupboard there. We usually put towels and things in there. Then we've got another cupboard underneath the seat here. Again, it's got hats and all sorts of bits in it, but that's a really handy little storage space as well for keeping all the wires and plugs and things, because it's really convenient. I'll just put that away. And one of my favourite cupboards, which sounds really silly, is this one here. There's actually a wardrobe. I don't know if you can see, there is actually a rail in here that you can hang things off, which is great. But we generally keep um, like wash bags and things in there because it's a bit more convenient. There's of course a mirror on the side, but I've got my own mirror as well. It's quite a handy little device. And then we keep like wash bags and extra coats and a few other bits in there as well. So you can see there's absolutely tons of storage in here. Um, another one of my favorite bits is of course the bed because I love my sleep. 
One of the big questions of course about the bed is how do you actually get up into it and it isn't the easiest thing in the world but actually once you learn how it's pretty simple. Um, so I'll pull the bed down first and I apologise in advance for my Christmas socks. I know it's not Christmas but these are the only socks that I had today. So you just climb up on the chair, turn around, push yourself back up. And then you're up. And as you can see, there is actually tons of space in here. I can sit up quite nicely, but I'm quite tall for a girl. I'm about five foot eight. And my feet don't quite touch the end either. Right, we decided not to go with the um, factory grade tinting in the windows. We wanted to do it ourselves and we wanted it to be darker. So we actually went for a limo tint. But as you can see, I mean, when you're inside, you can see out perfectly well. Um, but I'll show you the difference. There is quite a difference in the, the light between the two. But we find that no one can look in when we're driving around and it's a security issue more than anything because we've got all our possessions in here. So we don't necessarily want people to be able to see and see what we've got. So the limo tint does make a lot of sense for us. So I'll show you what the difference is between obviously now and when I shut the door and see if you can see me. So we've got quite a lot of lights in here as well that are already built into the van that are really handy when you're cooking or if you want to read or just generally because obviously the fairy lights won't do much for you and um, it's just more of a mood lighting thing so this is the brightest one the one in the middle here but then we've got absolutely tons of other ones as well so we've even got them in the roof for when we're in bed they've thought of absolutely everything so also privacy is a big deal um, and at night time, although the limo tints will do a fair amount for us, they'll still be able to let people see in at night time. So they've got inbuilt blinds. And these are blackout blinds as well. And no one will be able to see anything. The ones at the front, we generally put a, um, we've got a thermal cover that goes over. As you can see from the picture, we've put our own eyes on there and it looks quite cool but it's a really good thermal blind and it really keeps the light out and anyone from seeing in but we also do get blinds for the front so there's magnetic ones for the side windows so just uh, again they're blackout but they magnetically attach around the window and then at the front which is not recommended whilst you're driving but these ones come across and attach into these little bits here right decorations in the ran um we actually bought um, some seat covers, you'll see my video on it previously, for £15 from Lidl's, which I thought was an amazing deal and I went on quite a lot about it. Um, but we've got the seat covers on at the moment. We mostly do that because of the dog. He does like to jump up on the seat. And we've just got a few like nice little cushion bits that I've covered in some nice fabric that I got from Ikea. Um, we've got some lovely little flowers. I've got my uh, little dog guard, which is a bit pointless really. Um, but I've got the fairy lights up as well, which I've used just as a, sticky um, velcro and put them all around. It's actually really cosy in here for an evening as well rather than using the lights because these can be a little bit bright sometimes and it's not very nice mood lighting so the fairy lights put a really nice mood in here too. I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration as well of the control panel so I need to move over this side. Let's just turn it on. So it gives you a lot of information there. That one there is means that the roof is already up then you've got the battery there. Um, that's the uh, grey water tank, is it? And that's the um, water tank itself. Um, so it's only about a third full at the moment and the grey water tank is empty. Then you've got an idea of how much leisure battery there is left, what time it is, what day it is and things like that. Um, you can put the heating on from this panel as well. So that's this button here and that'll give you an option of, I think it goes from one to 10. Let me have a look. Yeah, one to 10. I think the most we've ever had it on is four when it was like minus three outside, um, which is saying a lot because that means it is such a warm thing in here. And then you also control the um, fridge from here. And again, you've got to be careful about what level you pick before you end up freezing all your items. But generally we think level three is okay for the, uh, for the fridge. 
Right, well I hope you've uh, enjoyed our quick tour, I don't know how quick it really is, <laughs> <laughs> of um, our California, but uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe. Also, and if you have any questions you want to ask us yeah. about the van, then we'll more than happily cover them in uh, videos in the future as well, because there might be things that we miss. The thing is, when you live with it, it just everything becomes so natural, doesn't it? Yeah. So, if you have yeah. any questions, just fire them our way. We'll try and um, answer them in future videos. We look forward to taking you with us on our next adventure. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.